Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a login form with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So note, this is just a simple login screen. So if you're gonna use this on your website or whatever you're gonna use it for, please don't because you can actually just find the password by going into inspect element, viewing the source and getting the username and the password. So let's get started. First, what we'll need is a text editor and I usually use Notepad++ and I use brackets. So you can actually download this. The links will be in the description, but you can just use your notepad on your computer. It will work exactly the same way. So our login will look like this. So let's get started. First, I'm just going to open up brackets and you can just open up your, you know, your notepad, go to file, go to new, and now we're going to save it as an HTML. So I'm just going to name it login dot html and save as type what you want to do is just click all files and click save and now we can get started so i'm using brackets right now brackets is pretty good because you can actually when you're typing the code as you can see it automatically closes the html file for you so we're going to start off with that and now we're what we're going to do is we're going to type in head and i'm not really going to explain what this all does so just follow along and the end product should look very similar and for our title, the title is right here. As you can see, it says simple login. So you can actually name it whatever. And I'm just gonna put in login. And now we're gonna do our CSS. So the CSS is what the page will look like, the layouts and the um, graphics and stuff like that. So let's get started. So for the font, we're gonna be using this font right here. If you just wanna copy and paste the code, you can actually do that. Or you can just, you know, follow along and type it because the code will be in the description so you can just download it. So this is just the font that we're going to be using and now for the body what we need to type is we're going to make the body background make it all pretty and stuff so this is what we're going to do. So we're not going to make the background move so we're just going to um, make the background stay where it is without the scrolling and all that. Okay and for our background image what we need is a background image. So I picked this image. All you need to do is just go onto Google and search up an image. So I'm just going to search up um, New York City and we're going to get an image from here. And now what we need to do is view image and we need to copy the URL. And what we need to do is we just got to paste it right in between these brackets right here. And we want the image to cover the whole background. And this right here, this is our font color. So our font color for our first half of the font will be white, but you can pick any color. And if you want to pick a color, what you need to do is just go in the description. There will be a link. So if you, you got to copy this code right here into the color right here. So it's telling the computer that this color is um, white. So FFF is white. And for the font family, what we picked right here, we're going to use that font. And for our second half of the color, what we're going to do is, you know, just go pick out your color and the second half of the color will be orange. So we have white and orange. So as you can see, this is white and this is orange. And now we're going to make the login. So the login, we need the login to be in the middle of the page. So this is what we're doing right now. Okay, and now we're going to make the look for our username right here. So we need it to be transparent and with a white border so we're gonna do it right here and now we're gonna do the same thing into the password field so we need it to be in the middle of the page with a transparent background and with a white border so that's what we're gonna do here too and now we're gonna do the same thing for the button we need the button to be under username and password with a white background and when you hover over it it should be transparent as you can see here so when we hover over the login button, it's going to have an opacity. So it's going to be transparent. Okay, so we are done creating the CSS style for our page. So as you can see here, this is all the code for the page. So all the code will be in the description. So if you just want to download it and you can change and, you know, create something different, you can. So all the source code will be in the description. You don't have to type all of this, but you know, if you have time, you can type it, but you know, I'm not going to explain all of this. 
So, you know, this is where our login is, the color of the text of the login, the name, the text color, the background right here. And, you know, what we need to do is we want to save this. So I'm just going to click Control S. Now what we need to do is we want to create the body. So the body is where our username, the password, login text will be below head. And we want to create the body. So we're just going to create body. So what this is saying is when you right click, it's going to not let you right click on the page. So now, as you can see, what we created up here is going to be linking to the actual page. So we need to link it. So we're going to create a class and we're going to create a body class. So up here, as you can see, it says body right here. The page will go to this code right here and it's going to display the background image and whatever we have up here. So the header will be this. This is the header. So the text that's right here, we're going to put in the header and I'm just going to put in please subscribe. So whatever you put in right here, this is the first half of the text right here. And this is the second half of the text. And now we're going to create the login form. So now we're done creating the form. So we're done creating this. Now what we need to do is we need to implement the JavaScript. So when you type in your password, a message would pop up saying this is the right password. You can go in or um, this is the wrong password access denied or something like that. So now we're going to create the JavaScript. OK, so now we are done creating the form. So let me explain what this is. So our form is checking if the password you entered and the username is correct. So now we're done. Click Save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the page and see what it looks like. And as you can see here, we have please subscribe and the username and password. And this is actually a bit too big, so I'm just going to change that into something else. So let's just change it into this, my channel. Save, refresh, and there you go. So now our password we typed in do for the username and 123 as a password. So if we just type in a random stuff and we try to click login, as you can see, this message will pop up. So now if we type in the actual username, password was 123. When we click login, a new tab opens up and whatever website you linked it up to will open up. So that's it guys. All the source code from this is in the description. You can go download it. So if you go right here, that's how you change the background. You want to copy the URL and just change this part. And for the name on the side right here, you can change it by going down on line 145. You can change whatever name you want it to be. And to change the username and the password, go to line 162. And this is the username right here. This is password. This is the username. And now when we refresh the page, the username is hello. And for the password is ABC. When you click login, another website will pop up. And to change the website on line 164, and you could just change the website right here. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and like. And if you like more of these videos, share this video, check out my channel. And for our next tutorial, I might be showing you guys, maybe if you guys like this, I'll be showing you how to create something like this. And when you type in whatever information, um, you can do this with any login and I will be showing you how to do that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.